from 150 miles equals and meron tayong simple formula na given kanina which is distance is equal to rate times time. Yung car A has a rate of 60 miles per hour so ilagay natin dito 60 and yung time na hindi natin alam which is T plus rate ng car B we have 50 miles per hour times the time which is same lang sa time na na-travel ng car A. Hi everyone, this is Ash Guzman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this lecture video, we are going to solve motion problems using algebraic equations. So without further ado, let's begin. In world problems that involve motion, usually we deal with one or two objects moving along a straight line at a constant rate or speed for a period of time. In motion problems, there are always three situations for those two objects. Number one, the two objects can be moving toward each other. And number two, the two objects can be moving away from each other. Or lastly, the third, they are moving in the same direction as in a way. So in any situation, there is a total distance traveled by the objects. So the governing relationship for these problems is this formula. We have distance equals rate times time. So ito lang simple na formula na to ang gagamitin natin sa motion problems. Take note na we will not be using the concepts and principles from the physics. Dahil ang gagamitin natin in motion problem, this type of word problem is the algebraic approach. Example number one. Two cars are traveling on the same highway toward each other from towns that are 150 miles apart. One car is traveling at 60 miles per hour while the other is traveling at 50 miles per hour. If they started at the same time, how much time to the nearest minute will have passed at the moment when they pass each other? In order to use the formula yung given kanina, the distance equals rate times time, First, we have to decide what is given. Kono na ba yung mga given sa atin from the problem and what we have to find by examining each of the parts. So in any problem solving, especially here nasa motion problem tayo, isa sa pinakamagandang illustration is kapag magdodraw tayo ng figure para mas ma-visualize natin yung problem. So the car traveling at 60 miles per hour will cover more of the distance. Mas marami siyang makocover than the car traveling at 50 miles per hour, say, this is the first car, say, car A, and this is car B. Ito yung car na mas mabilis with 60 miles per hour, and ito naman yung mas mabagal, 50 miles per hour. So again, dahil mas mabilis si car A with 60 miles per hour, mas mahaba yung kanyang matatravel. So this is a total of? 150 miles. And assuming, aabot dito yung car A, dahil mas, maram, das, dahil mas malaki yung kanyang makocover na distance, and ito naman yung kay car B. So, our figure shows that the total distance traveled is a known amount and it must be equal to the distances traveled by each car. So, ito yung magiging basis natin for our problem solving. Total distance is equal to the distance traveled by the faster car, yung car A natin, Plus, the distance traveled by the slower car, which is yung car B. Given na sa problem natin, yung rates ng bawat car and the unknown is yung time na lang. Since the cars started at the same time and pass each other at the same time, ibig sabihin, the time they both traveled is the same. Therefore, we can use one variable for these times. Let T be the time traveled by both cars. Meron tayong value for the total distance. We have... 150 miles ito. So, ang equation natin is from 150 miles equals and meron tayong simple formula na given kanina which is distance is equal to rate times time. Yung car A has a rate of 60 miles per hour. So, ilagay natin dito 60 and yung time na hindi natin alam which is T plus rate ng car B we have 50 miles per hour times the time which is same lang sa time na na-travel ng car A, using this equation, we can solve for the time. 150 equals 60 plus 50 is 110 times T. And solving for the time, time now is equal to 150 over 110. Or kung i-decimal natin yan, 
Since ang inanap sa atin is yung 2, then years minute. T is equal to 1.363636 or N. Pwedeng ganyan na lang. Remember, etong na-solve natin na time is not yet in minutes. Nasa hours pa to kasi unang-una, yung ginamit natin na rate is 60 miles per hour and 50 miles per hour. Nasa hour pa yung kanyang time. So the problem asks for the answer to be given to the nearest minute. The decimal part of the hour can be converted to minutes by multiplying yung 0.37. Ito pag nirand off natin yan, this will be 1.37 na yan. And yung 0.37 na yan, pwede nating i-multiply sa 60 para maging minutes. So, 0.37 times 60 minutes is equal to 22.2 minutes. May conversion ng degrees natin. And when rounded, itong 0.37 is binawas natin sa 1.37. Ibig sabihin, may nag-i-exist na na 1. And yung 1 na yan is, pag kinonvert natin into minutes, magiging 60 minutes. Total, time na na-travel nilang dalawa is 1 hour and 22.2 minutes. So, this is the answer. So, to check the answer, we need to compute the distances traveled by each car. And this is example number 1. Example number 2, Pietro and Carol were competing in a race. Pietro had a 10-minute head start and was running at 3 kilometers per hour. Carol ran at 5 kilometers per hour. In how many minutes did Carol catch up with Pietro? In this word problem, The key factor is that at the moment that Carol catches up to Pietro, they will have traveled the same distance. So, ang equation natin for that, distance traveled by Pietro equals the distance traveled by Carol. Since in the problem, we are asked to find Carol's time, yung time na nakakatch up siya kay Pietro, i-represent na lang natin or i-denote na lang natin yung time na yun by T na lang. So, take note that the units of T must be in R since yung rate are given in R. So, dapat pareho yung ating mga unit or consistent. So, Pietro ran 10 minutes more. Nauna siya ng 10 minutes which will be represented by 10 minutes out of 60 minutes is 1 over 6. So, that is T plus 1 over 6. Ito yung time na nakapag-travel si Pietro. So, this is Pietro's time. And for Carol's time, i-denote na lang natin again as T na lang. Using the mean formula natin again for motion problem, yung distance equals rate times time. Ilalagay natin yung, ilalagay natin yung time nila dito sa main equation natin which is yung same sila ng distance. So yung distance traveled by Pietro is equal to rate times time. And ang rate niya is 3 km per hour. So this is 3 na lang. And ang time na na-travel ni Pietro is ito. So we have 3 times t plus 1 over 6 equals yung rate ni Carol or yung speed ni Carol which is 5 km per hour times yung time niya na denoted as t lang. So this is 5t. Nakabuo na tayo ng equation. We can now solve for the value of t. So we simplify the equation. This is 3t and 3 times 1 over 6 we have 1 over 2 equals 5t. Solving for t, we have 1 half equals 5t minus 3t. Nilipat natin yung 3t sa right side of the equation. This, so this will be 2t na lang. Solving for time, we have divide both sides by 2. Ang t natin is equal to 1 over 4 or 1 fourth hours. If we are going to convert it into minutes, so this is equal to... 15 minutes. So, this is the time na nakakatch up si Carl kay Pietro given Pietro's rate na 3 km per hour lang. Kaya lang, mas mabilis si Carl with 5 km per hour. So, kahit merong 10 minute na head start si Pietro, makakahabol at makakahabol pa rin si Carl sa kanya. And this is example number 2. Thank mm -hmm. you.